Daja Hao, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite local American in Taiwan, ready to share a new adventure with you today. The strange glass slipper church is located in Ocean View Park in Budai, Taiwan. The glass shoe is 55 feet tall and made from hundreds of glass panels. It's actually not a church at all though, but just an Instagram ready background. You'll see lots of couples having their wedding photos taken here and lots of people just getting shots for their social media accounts. However, most people don't know the strange and bizarre real life story behind it. If you read the Parks brochure, it tells you the romanticized story of a 24 year old girl who suffered from something called Blackfoot disease and had to have both of her feet amputated. She never wed and spent the rest of her life living at a church, dreaming of the missed opportunity to wear a pair of beautiful shoes to her own wedding. Why did she have to spend the rest of her life living at a church? I have no clue. But this is how the word church came to be used in the name of the glass shoe. Further, the park officials say that because of this, a lot of women lost the opportunity to walk into marriage, walk into a new chapter in life on high-heeled shoes. Because of this history, we hope to create a place in Chai County where people can get married invoking the fairy tale of Cinderella. Well, honestly, I don't think these women's top wish was to wear a pair of five inch pumps. It was probably to have their feet. I, I, I guess walking was probably at the top of their list and greatest dream of all. Anyhow, there's a real history and story behind this popular tourist attraction for selfies and wedding photos. By the way, when the building of this giant glass shoe was announced, people from all around the world took to social media to kind of attack the Taiwan Parks Department. They objected to the idea that women were going to be drawn to a building shaped like a shoe. It was supposedly sexist to build a large woman's shoe. Uh, but of course, they were wrong. The park is flooded daily with girls, women, and couples getting their photos taken in front of this giant glass slipper. It has become an icon of the Budai area. Jumping back to the stranger than real life story behind this shoe monument. First, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't in the past. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and my fledgling channel. And it lets me know you're interested in more content like this video. So back to the Blackfoot disease mystery. Blackfoot disease affected many people who lived in the Budai and Chai coastal areas in the 1950s and 60s. Why? Well, I did say well, that's actually a clue. But I had something, it had something to do with significant drinking water shortage during a period of an extended drought in Taiwan. Residents had to drill deep wells to get past the salty water from the nearby ocean to reach the fresher drinking water that would be a reliable source even during times of drought. And as we all know, Taiwan just went through a extensive drought uh, unseen in uh, many, many decades. But when they dug those deep wells, they hit a hidden evil. Deep within the rock was naturally occurring yet deadly arsenic, different types of arsenic compounds. Arsenic, as you probably know, is a highly toxic poison. Drinking water with high levels of arsenic has been shown to cause a severe disease of the blood vessels in the feet and legs. It ultimately leads to gangrene, known as blackfoot disease, due to its appearance. Because of trace amounts of arsenic found in these deep water wells, over time it accumulated in their bodies. But by the time officials discovered the issue with the drinking water, there were already many cases of blackfoot disease, which if severe, the only option to save someone's life was to amputate their feet and in many cases, both their legs, if it was caught early enough. Interestingly, although this is a monument to the women who contracted BFD, men had a much higher rate of contracting Blackfoot disease compared to women. One study done in the 1960s showed a total of 275 men had died compared to 182 women. That's 51% more men dying of the disease than women. Yet, they made a monument only to the women who suffered from Blackfoot disease. I'm not sure why. There's no monument or even a mention of the men of the community who were affected. So yes, it is sexist in the sense it ignores the much greater amount of suffering and death endured by men in the community. To correct this historical oversight, I'm going to start a GoFundMe to raise capital for the building of a huge glass high top Air Jordan basketball shoe to commemorate all of the poor men who had also contracted Blackfoot disease. Well, maybe not. Let me know if you've come across any IG-worthy destinations in Taiwan. Please share your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. I may choose one of your ideas for a future video as well. Thanks again for watching. 